Hey guys, welcome to another LPV, that's low production video, as you know by now. First of all, i got to thank you guys because I asked for some suggestions from you or things you'd like to hear me talk about, and I'm writing those down and they're coming your way. But the first one I wanted to address, which several of you said you want to hear something about boundaries. So I thought of one little picture, if I could give you one little word picture or one description of what are boundaries really about that you can take with you and kind of think about through the day. This is what I came up with. All right, if we think about the topic of boundaries, the first thing to ask is a definition, okay? What is a boundary? Basically, a boundary is a property line, pure and simple. That's all a boundary is. Now, in the physical world, let's say that you have a house, right? Or you rent a house or apartment or something, you've got a property line. If you go down the courthouse, you can see there's a plot map. This is where your property begins and this is where it ends, right? This is yours. Now, what does a boundary do? Once you have a definition, well, it defines ownership. Who owns this? Because if you know who owns it, you know who controls it. And if you know who controls it, you also know who to hold responsible for it, okay? So who owns it, who's in control of it, and who's responsible for it? That's what boundaries tell us because in the physical world, You've got a fence maybe around your house and you can see it, but in the immaterial world of relationships and your immaterial being, yourself, your brain, your soul, your feelings, all of that, we can't see that stuff. And these lines are not so clear, but they exist. And here's how you know they exist. Because you live next door to people, right, in the world. You have relationships. These are your neighbors, people you're in relationship with. Now what happens is sometimes... People don't take responsibility and own their own problems. They're not taking control of their lives. So let's say your neighbor, for example, if you use the physical analogy, has got this big tree growing that they're not trimming and they're not taking responsibility for and it gets heavier and heavier and then it, it, it falls over into your yard and it crushes your house. Well, what's happened? You end up owning their problems because they're not taking control of them, now they're on your yard. Well, what are you going to do? Well, if you have no boundaries, I guess you're going to enjoy a bunch of leaves in your yard and worms and everything else that comes with their rotted tree. But if you have boundaries, what you do is you go define this. And you say, you know what? That tree, that's not really my problem, that's yours. Your rage attacks or your lateness or your not paying the bills or your lying, or your non-performance, or your addiction, whatever it is, that keeps falling in my yard. And it's really affecting me. I'll be glad to help you, but I'll only be glad to help you if you take ownership and control and take responsibility for this problem. And what your boundaries do, basically, like a good fence, here is the big word picture I want you to go away with. Your boundaries keep the good stuff in, and the bad stuff out. Okay? If you got a fence around your house, what does that fence do? Well, it keeps the robbers and stuff out. You don't open up the fence and say, you know, axe murderers and robbers and thieves and, you know, people want to steal everything. Come on in. No. You close the door, right? You lock the gate. But if someone good comes along, they ring the doorbell, show proper ID, you know them, you know something about them, you know enough to where you trust them, what do you do? You open up the skate and you let the good in. And you let people into your life and you let them into your heart. But you do it by having control. You make choices. And the people that are trustworthy and do their part as good neighbors in your life, whatever that means, work relationships, family relationships, or whatever, you say, you know what, I want to open myself up to you. But if they're letting trees fall over the fence and wreck you and you're getting a bunch of bad stuff in your yard, it really should belong to them. That's when we start to execute boundaries and say things like no to that and set limits on that and confront the problem. You do it in love, but you basically want to make sure that whatever's going on inside of your heart, one of my favorite proverbs says, guard your heart with all diligence for from it flow the issues of life. And if we're not guarding our heart and making sure that, you know, 
you're not getting abused and taken advantage of and this and the other, making sure that other people have to own their problems, then that's when trespassing really begins to have meaning. So just a little word picture, kind of intro to boundaries, even though it's intro, if you've never read the book, I'd, I'd suggest you pick one up because this is stuff, I've been talking about boundaries for a long time now, and every time I talk about it, I think, you know what, there's a situation today or yesterday or what, whatever where some stuff's kind of fallen in my yard that I really kind of got to get back in somebody else's yard. And so that's what a lot of times we need to think about. So let me know your comments. Hope it's helpful to you and keep sending in suggestions. And I will listen to them and put up another low production video about them. Okay, see you next time.